Hey guys, it's Ishan from FTC Team 9794wizards.exe, and today we're going to be jumping into the first part of a new tutorial series that we're going to be having on our YouTube channel, which is CADing using Autodesk Inventor for FTC. So in this tutorial series, we're going to walk you through um, from installing Autodesk Inventor all the way to making parts and doing stuff like that. Um, so first we're going to be installing Autodesk Inventor and that's the goal of this video. So if you go to the Autodesk Education website, that's where you're going to be getting all your information about Autodesk Inventor and how to install it. Um, Autodesk is really gracious in giving free licenses to any students, so we're going to be going to the free products that they have for us, the free software, and once this page loads, uh, you'll see that they've got a lot of different softwares that we can use uh, as students. So they've got Fusion 360 here on the left, and that's like a very simplistic CAD software that's used by many teams. Uh, since we're going to be focusing on Autodesk Inventor, we're going to be installing that. There's also something called Tinkercad, which is a very simple, easy to use uh, web-based CAD program that I highly recommend using if you're just trying to 3D print simple parts um, and it's a good stepping stone to learn Autodesk Inventor but of course this tutorial series is about Inventor so we're going to be diving right into there so let's go ahead and click on Inventor and wait for it to load alright and you'll see here that it's going to prompt us to sign in or create an account. You can create an account if you don't have one already. It'll ask you for some stuff about being a student. Uh, I already have one, so I'm going to just go ahead and sign in. And it'll just ask you for your username and password. Um, I'm just going to type it in here. And there we go. So now it allows me to install. And you'll see on the right, it's still saying recommended Fusion 360. That's because a lot of students just don't have the capacity to learn Inventor. But I think Inventor is easy enough for everybody to learn, and it's a very powerful tool. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. And now it's going to ask you for your operating system, along with which version of Inventor you want to install. We're going to be installing uh, Inventor 2020, since that's the most uh, up-to-date one. But you can really install whichever one you want. Um, and so it'll ask you for your operating system. You're going to have to be on Windows in order to use this. Uh, there's no real other way around that. You can run Boot Camp on Mac if you want to run a Mac, uh, but Inventor is only made for that. And then I'm going to select English. Uh, you'll see the serial number and product key. I blurred it out, but uh, just keep that just in case you have to type it in later. And you'll also see that it's 10.68 gigabytes of data. So once you're done, click install now just like I did and go ahead and open up the exe file um, it'll pop open this uh, it, once it pops open I'll show you what it's got uh, it'll pop open the screen where you can start the installation process let's see how long this takes there we go so now it's got Autodesk install now it's downloading, I press it twice, oops, so I'm just going to close out one. Um, but now it's installing, it's extracting Autodesk. Alright, now that we're back, there we go. So now it has opened up this tab, uh, which will ask me to press install. So I'm just going to hit install. And now it's just going to be downloading a lot of components. Uh, there's a couple of other things, like you're going to need to select 2020, um, press next, professional 2020. Uh, don't It won't let you pick any other version. And install the shared components. Those shared components are good resources to have while using Autodesk. Uh, so I highly recommend just installing those. You will see it takes 49.3 gigabytes. Um, or no, it requires 12.2 gigabytes. So it's important to make sure you have enough disk space for this program. It is one of the largest programs I've ever used. So it's right now just installing. Just let it install. It's going to take a while. Uh, there's nothing you can really do about that. Uh, so just let it install. We'll have a bunch of cool pictures. Um, if it prompts you to do something, just hit OK and let it do what it needs to do, even if it tells you to shut down like File Explorer or something like that. Uh, let it do that. Um, 
you don't want to say no to giving it permission to install something because that will just mess up your installation and waste a lot of storage on your device potentially. So just let it do what it needs to do. So now that Inventor has been installed, make sure that all the check marks are on the left. Uh, if Inventor takes a lot longer to install, don't be worried. I was running at 5000 speed. Um, but try to make sure that all the check marks are checked off, otherwise you'll have to do a potential reinstallation on the uh, software. Uh, so make sure that that's in place. Especially Autodesk Inventor 2020. The other ones, if you don't have them, it's not too big of a problem. We won't be covering how to use any of those libraries, and they're mainly for uh, more complicated stuff. But especially for Inventor 2020, uh, make sure that it's got a green check mark. So now that you've got that, that uh, we're going to open up Autodesk Inventor. So I'm just going to open it up in my Start menu. Uh, it's called Autodesk Inventor Professional 2020 English. So go ahead, click on that. It might take a while to boot up and open up. Uh, there is a license agreement which it's going to ask us to sign, so just get ready to do that. Alright, so now that it's got that, it's going to ask us to sign the privacy agreement. Just said, I agree. And uh, just please wait while it's verifying your license. Uh, it, at that step, might ask you to manually type in the license agreement and the serial key and product key. Um, but uh, it automatically got it for me. So here's what Autodesk Inventor looks like when you pop it open for the first time. Uh, it's going to ask me about migrating some settings from previous versions of Inventor to uh, 2020 because I've had previous versions installed on this computer. I'm going to uncheck those because I don't want to move any of the settings. So I want to start from scratch just like you guys. I'm going to hit the check mark. And this is what Inventor will be looking like when you open it up. So you can see that it says start learning or start working. There's some good tutorials in the start learning section that go way more in depth than I will be able to in this tutorial series uh, so I'd highly recommend uh, looking at those. You can customize things around which is pretty nice. Autodesk is very uh, customizable in order to make appearances look like what you want um, and so when you close that out if you press on the home tab that's our home page and that's what uh, where we're going to be selecting files from, you can create different things from here, and it's the basis of where we start off from Inventor. We'll go into depth more of the layout of Autodesk Inventor in future videos, but that's going to conclude this video. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for more Autodesk Inventor tutorials.